Donald Sterling, I just want you to know that you have a friend, at least one friend in the black community. And um, while we've never officially met, you know, I did watch at least seven Clipper games this year. And um, I kind of feel like I know you, you know, so, but I want you to know for real, like for real, for real, that I believe everything that's happening to you is tragic. I believe that the person who the media has, you know, has um, perceived as the beast has um, somehow become the victim. And I, I believe that you truly are a victim. I don't say that facetiously or half-heartedly. I believe you're a victim of your privacy being breached. Uh, and now you're the victim, potentially, of losing something that, you know, you bought and you've, you've, you earned and... You know, um, being forced to sell it and being banned, you know, in a $2.5 million, which I'm sure is peanuts to an elephant. Um, you know, but the whole the whole thought process behind somebody being surreptitiously recorded, um, somebody presumably selling that recording, and, um, and then you being vilified as a result of what you said in the privacy of your home. As though these same people who are vilifying you, you know, um, haven't had similar thoughts, similar thoughts, or and I really don't see the difference. I don't see the difference between having a, a thought, the thought that you had or have, and, and saying it in the privacy of your home. Because presumably, both of them remain private. You know, um, so what you said I disagree with, but I definitely don't disagree with your right, your absolute right to say it. You know, if I was going to be recorded, you know, all 1,440 minutes of the day, I would likely be unemployable, you know, because I'm sure there are many things that I've said that many people would find disagreeable, you know, um, but I have a right to say it, you know, is, is there, is there really truly no safe place to say what's on your mind? If you have views or, or positions or opinions that are different from, from from whatever the damn norm is on that given day, can you not say it without fear of being persecuted or prosecuted or whatever? I think it's absolutely sick. I think we really do need to revise the way we think as as a, as a people. Because for so long I've heard, and I've gone to Kenya, I've gone to Uganda, I've heard, you know, these, these third world countries, you can't even say what's on your mind. I don't know if we can say that anymore. I mean, you can say it, but you can't say it in the context of, of America being a place where you can say what you please, especially in the privacy of your home. So, Donald, it's wrong. Um, you, you seem like a pretty, I'm sorry, but you really do seem like a pretty pathetic guy. I mean, kind of. I don't know if it's just the age thing, but, you know, I I, I feel kind of sorry for you. There's no hate. There's no venom. There's no ugliness towards you. You have my, my deepest sympathy for whatever condition you're dealing with inside of your brain. You know, um, well, I mean, with all that said, if you ever feel so inclined to prove to the world, you know, that you definitely aren't racist. And my bank account number is six, seven four five zero three four uh and that's with um bank of america so actually it's not <laughs>